This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Hello and welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have baptizo. Baptizo. It's the word we we use uh, for, for baptize, right? It means I baptize, I dip, I immerse. Okay? Uh, it's used for uh, ceremonial washing, specifically for uh, purification. So to wash, to purify. It's a ritual. It's also used to, um, to use water in a rite for purpose of renewing or establishing a relationship with God. Plunge, dip, wash, baptize. The transliteration baptize signifies the ceremonial character of the New Testament narratives um, and how they accord such cleansing. But the need of qualifying statements or contextual coloring in the documents indicates that the term baptizo was not nearly so technical as the transliteration suggests. Now, this was used of uh, John the Baptist, the baptizer, o baptizon, the one who baptizes, or simply the baptizer. Um, Jesus, of cleansing performed by Jesus, John 3.22, John 3.26. Um, of the Christian sacrament of initiation after Jesus' death. Um, a third gloss. To cause someone to have an extraordinary experience akin to an initiatory water rite. To plunge, baptize. Like the phrase, take the plunge. Mm. Typically of Israel, or typologically of Israel's passage through the Red Sea. Uh, of the Holy Spirit, meaning fire. Uh, there, Mark 1, eight. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Um, of martyrdom. Let's see. What is this? Mark 10:38. Perhaps the stark metaphor of impending personal disaster is to be rendered. Are you prepared to be drowned the way I'm going to be drowned? Yikes. You compare verse 39. Also look at Matthew 20:22. 20, and so that's what uh Baptizo means. I baptize, I dip, I immerse. So that's today's Greek word of the day. Thanks for joining. Come back again tomorrow. We'll have another one for you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.